I'm Susan Sutton, editor of Adhesives and Sealants Industry, and this is your ASI Insider. Today I'm speaking with Rick Alexander of Tom Brown, Inc. Rick wrote an article entitled Pressure Sensitive Glazing Tapes for Window Fabrication in our November issue, and today he's going to walk us through some of the information that he shared in that article. Hi, Susan. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you, too. Thanks for taking the time to talk to us today. I appreciate it. Sure. So before we get into how tapes are used for window fabrication, can you walk us through a little bit of the information of what are the different types of components that are used to manufacture a window? Yeah, um, and uh, in, in true kindergarten fashion, Susan, I bought show and, some show and tell pieces um, that, that might help make it a little bit easier. Uh, I, I'm gonna try to get them in front of the camera in the right way that hopefully they'll be of value. Um, but, but in really simplistic terms, um, I mean, windows, whether they be commercial or residential windows, are really uh, two basic things. They're the framing system, whatever that might be made from, and the insulated glass unit or the glass that goes in there to create the window. So in simple terms, it's a, it's a framing system and glass, okay? Uh, now, the material sets um, for like a residential window versus a commercial window uh, can be different uh, depending on, you know, the type of application that you have. You know, you might have some commercial, you know, systems would be like, you know, doctor's offices or dentist offices, you know, things like that. Uh, you could also have the multi-story buildings like you would see in, more in a downtown area. Um, so on, on the commercial side, you're typically going to be talking about, in many cases, a, an aluminum extrusion. And, and I, I have one here that I'm going to try to hold up. Um, so th this happens to be, you know, uh, just a, a bottom part of, of a sash for a storefront, but it gives you an idea, but it's usually aluminum like that. Uh, it can have an anodized finish or more often than not a painted uh, finish in some way. Uh, and then there is the insulated glass unit. And I happen to have one. This is just a small one, believe it or not. And I don't know if it's easy to see the edge there, but basically mm -hmm. it's two layers of glass uh, with, a, with a spacer a separated in it to create an airspace in there, you know, in order for, you know, to have it for environmental uh, reasons and, and to, for insulation purposes. So that's, that's kind of the, the what, you're, what you're looking at on the commercial side. On the residential side, um, it's a little bit, it can be a little bit different. Uh, you have, four basic types of uh, 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 materials that residential windows are made from. They can be made from wood, which is the oldest. And a lot of us still, especially if we had a, an older home, we may even have some old wood windows left in our house. Um, aluminum, which kind of came next. And then uh, uh, PVC or UPVC, it can also be called. Uh, and the newest thing is probably fiberglass. Um, I actually have a fiberglass poltrusion. I actually have one here. Uh, I don't know how easy it is. So you can actually see the tape. That's the blue uh, mm -hmm. material you see on that. This is a fiberglass poltrusion. And this is going to be the hardest thing to show. But this is a PVC window frame. Okay. And you can actually see the tape has already been installed mm -hmm. entire, around the entire sash. So that gives, gives you uh, an idea of the material sets uh, that go into each of the window types. Okay, great. That's really helpful. So how do tapes come into play then? What, what uh, role do they fulfill? Uh, um, yeah, so tapes are really kind of, in simplistic terms, they basically bond and seal at the same time. They, they almost act like a gasket, if you will, in, in, you know, if you want to think about it that way. So what the tape does is by applying a, a tape product, uh, particularly in a, in a residential window, that's one of the easiest ways to visualize it. Um, in, this, in this window frame here, that insulated glass unit, they'll, they'll take the release liner off of this tape and then they would drop the insulated glass unit right on top of the tape. And then they have a little thing called a glazing bead. And I know it's going to be extremely difficult to see that on here. I'm not going to be able to show you because my camera is just not that good. But there's a little glazing bead that goes in a channel around the window and it pushes the insulated glass unit against the tape. And as the tape compresses, it makes a seal. 
And that's what seals out water, wind, dust, etc., from coming inside and creates the primary seal for the insulated glass unit into the framing system. Um, on, a, on a commercial window, uh, it can be, it, there's some similarities and there's some important differences. Um, I have a very, very small unit here that's e much easier to see. Uh, this is actually an example of a curtain wall unit, um, a, a Conair clear wall, curtain wall system. Um, and on here, I actually have an example of a structural glazing tape, which I, you uh, had, it was mentioned in the article, and also a structural silicone uh, tape as well. So you see on the back here, there's, some alum there's an aluminum framing system here. Okay, and on the, and the, the, I'm going to try to get this as close as I can, but you could actually see here, uh, there's actually a spacer tape and then there's structural silicone uh, gun beside it. That's one way to do it. And another way to do it is with structural glazing tape. And there, I'm going to try to show you from the side, you could just see the bond line from where the aluminum frame is bonded directly onto the insulated glass unit. Mm -hmm. So right in there. So that's basically how, how the tapes are used. Um, the, the primary difference is on the structural silicone uh, system. There you have the tape and a sealant actually working synergistically together. Um, the, the, the structural spacer tape provides uh, a, a specific distance because as you can imagine in some of these big commercial units. I mean, some of these units are really big, you know, really huge. And so you have thicker glass, you know, to withstand the wind loads and so forth. So the, the insulated glass units are very, very heavy, um, very large. And so there you, the spacer tape provides an exact uh, depth uh, for the glazing channel so that then they can gun the silicone right beside the tape. The structural silicone does the heavy lifting as far as you know, dealing with the wind loads, dealing with the shear, the, the, the weight of that insulated glass unit. But the structural spacer tape, uh, because of its open cell structure, allows the silicone that's adjacent to it to cure uh, properly, which is really kind of important. Uh, and it also provides some immediate handleability for that big unit because it's pressure sensitive. So it has adhesive on both sides. So it gives them some of the, 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 the fabricator some ability to handle the unit uh, and move it as it's being going down the fabrication line. Okay, uh, great. So you've talked a little bit about the different types of applications, the different materials. Are there different types of tapes that need to be used to kind of accommodate the specific application? Yeah, absolutely, Susan. Um, the, I'll start, I'll, I'll kind of work my way down. Uh, I'll start with the structural glazing tape. Um, that's, that's kind of like, if I can, the newest kit on the block, but it's really not all that new. Um, it's actually been in the field over 25 years, so it's not exactly new, um, but it's the newer out, out of all the, the methods of, of attaching, particularly in the commercial uh, space. Um, and this is the one I showed you. You basically have a 90 mil, uh, foamed acrylic core. It's monolithic. So what I mean by that big fancy word is that it's adhesive and foam all the way through the thickness of the foam. The really interesting thing about that, and I'm sorry if I go on about this this much, it, it, that tape really excites me because it's the most researched and well-documented product in the history of our industry, at least based on my research. I've had not, I've not been able to find any tape that has as much documentation and uh, study that has surrounded it the way that product has. So I'm, I'm really impressed with that uh, for no other reason than I'm a tape nerd. And I guess that kind of thing <laughs> excites me. Um, but anyway, so <laughs> the, the structural glazing tape uh, is really cool because it, um, it, it allows it's a new way to allow uh, window units, partic particularly curtain wall and window wall systems to be fabricated much quicker. Um, it has the ease of installation of a tape. It goes right down, uh, you know, and there's, uh, and, and it doesn't require any additional sealant except maybe, maybe just a slight little tiny bead around where there might be a splice or a corner uh, in the tape, a butt joint. Um, assembles very quickly and the folks who uh, have fabricated 
uh, units with the tape, um, they will tell you that, that, I wish I could get one of them here to tell you, they'll tell you how much quicker it is to fabricate a unit with tape rather than, than wet glazing it with silicone, structural silicone. Uh, by contrast, the structural silicone uh, spacer tape uh, is still a pretty cool product. That, you install that too, but usually it's a much narrower width. Uh, but again, the height is important because that's what's creating the gap between the insulated glass unit and the frame that, that, that creates the channel into which you gun the structural silicone. That also goes down, but then you have to apply the silicone. Usually that, that it can be done by hand or it can be done on like an XY table that, that's hooked up to a pump system. I mean, some of these glass fabricators have some really cool equipment uh, for, for putting in these, these things. Um, if I jump over to the residential side of it for a minute, um, the, the, the product offering there, they, they rely more on uh, polyethylene or PVC foam tape. So they're not as high a performance products, if you will, as on the commercial side. Um, but typically when you think about it, um, the, the more of the common window sizes that you will see in a home are, are usually not the size of, you know, a big storefront or a big office building. They're considerably smaller. Now, that's not to say that, that you know, residential window manufacturers don't make some big units. They do. Um, they make some big patio doors, some big picture windows, uh, and some of them have some really big insulated glass units in them. But on average, the wind, a residential window is smaller, so you can get away with uh, a product that isn't quite as uh, robust, if I can call it that, even though the PVC and the PE foam tapes that are used in residential windows are, are quite effective and have been in service, you know, way over 30, 35 years. Um, so they've been, they've been tape glazing this way for a long time. Did I answer your question? <laughs> yes, absolutely. And then some. Thanks. I love it when people geek out. That's wonderful. <laughs> Sorry. Oh, no. Don't apologize. It's great. Thanks for taking the time to talk to us today. I really appreciate it. Yeah, it's nice to talk with you as well. And thanks to our viewers for tuning in. If you'd like to learn more, be sure to read Rick's article on adhesivesmag.com. It's called Pressure Sensitive Glazing Tapes for Window Fabrication. Or you can visit their website at tombrowning.com. Thanks. Thanks. Bye-bye.